I'm new to the journal. This is maybe my third week, but I anchor Lunch Break, which is a live show that goes out every noon. And uh, it's a great mix because we always have a sort of a very current or hard news story at the top, but then we have leeway to cover things that are a little bit more cultural, personal. We take a lot from the personal journal, a lot of great reporters there that we use on the show. Um, and we're going to be expanding it. Um, I'll be changing it up a bit, uh, which I'm excited about. Uh, but yeah, that's what I do. And other stories too, other pieces for the journal as well. Right now we have a series of packages that I shot on Cinco de Mayo and how to throw a great Cinco de Mayo party. So it's great range. That's what's fun about being at the journal is that you have the opportunity to work on a broad range of stories. I like to be uh, straightforward and accessible. Uh, I think that news should be smart, but not over people's heads. Um, but I also think that sometimes you need to you need to push people a little bit out of their comfort zones because that's where sometimes interesting things and revelations can happen. Um, and I'm talking about both the interviewee and the viewer there. Um, but I just really like, I really enjoy interviewing. That's one of the, to me, most fun parts about being a journalist is talking to people, seeing what makes them tick, um, understanding, trying to understand where they're coming from and their viewpoint, and maybe even surprising them. So the interview is the most fun to me. I think digital news has the opportunity to be different because it isn't subject to a lot of the same regulations, let's say, um, as broadcast news. and. Um, I think digital news should take advantage of that. Uh, there are a lot of ways that it can surprise the viewer. And I also think there are a lot of ways that it can be shared. So it's a different format because of that. Um, and I think that I think that most people when they go to a digital news story are looking for something concise and quick and smart. It's not always, one of the things about I think TV news for a broadcast audience is that sometimes it's dumbed down a little bit to try and reach the widest range of viewers. Um, I don't think digital news does that quite as much. I think that it isn't afraid of being a little bit smarter and maybe a little bit more um, Focused. Sometimes I think to broadcast news is detriment. They try to be so broad and reach such a wide audience that it ends up being too generic, the stories. So um, I think that the digital news, because you have an opportunity to really search for exactly what it is that you're looking for, the stories tend to be a little bit more specific, a little bit more concrete, and a little bit with a little bit more depth. I think this interactive idea is great. You know, that's something that. I think will certainly shape the future, the future of news. Um, people can search for what they're interested in and what they want to know more about and they can get so much information on a topic right now so quickly uh, that I think that's going to force news to become smarter and to become uh, more specific because of that, because people have such a wide range of options when they're looking for their news. Um, it's exciting, yeah, I mean, I think the sky's the limit.